All right, mates, how's it going? In today's video, we're finishing the first chapter of Dawn of the Aspects. I told you we'd start flying through this story soon, so let's go. Kalek was shell-shocked. He'd followed the others outside and stood there speechless as the three great dragons took flight and buggered off into the clouds. What the bloody hell just happened? Everything's gone to poop. Kalek had recently joined the Kirin Tor on the advice of Archmage Khadgar, but it became pretty obvious pretty fast that they didn't trust him at all on account of him being a blue dragon. And it wasn't that long ago that blue dragons were kind of murdering mages. This in turn meant he'd had to lie to Jaina and tell her the reason he was leaving Dalaran was because they needed him at the Nexus or something. And lying to Jaina made him feel like an asshole. But this gathering was something he'd actually been looking forward to. He needed some encouragement. His flight was falling apart. The focusing iris had been stolen and he felt like he was failing as a leader. Mainly because the blue dragons were outright telling him he was failing as a leader and were abandoning the Nexus en masse. And yet here he was, shell-shocked because the three beings in this world he looked up to the most had just gone ahead and basically abandoned him as well. Or worse still, they'd seemingly abandoned the world. And another irony of the whole thing was, despite wanting to be there, Kalek had considered not even going to the Accord. He was ashamed. His failures had led to the destruction of Jaina's home, and he wasn't a big fan of admitting these humiliations to the other aspects. But he'd ultimately decided to swallow his pride and attend. And yet here he was, shell-shocked. Did I mention he was shell-shocked? A chill ran down his spine, which had nothing to do with the elements, or the fact that Northrend is a bit chilly. He looked back at Wormrest Temple and realised this was possibly one of the last times he'd ever see it. Without the Accord, there was no reason to come back here, except to die, and become yet another snowy mound on the Stark landscape. And Kalek wasn't planning on dying anytime soon. The wind picked up, rushing through the temple to create a weird howling eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee